let's learn about a new chapter called human settlements transfer and communication so where did humans settle so settlements human settlements means it refers to the places where people build their home and around these settlements human communities develop so community means group of people living together in a particular area and they are bounded by a common culture or a religion so there are two types of settlements temporary settlements permanent settlements clustered or scattered settlements so let's study about temporary or permanent settlements settlement can be either temporary or permanent so temporary settlement means people live in a particular city for short time and then they move to some other place and permanent settlement means the particular city is occupied by people for a long period of time clustered or scattered settlements so these settlements means the houses which are built near each other or grouped together it is known as clustered settlement so scattered settlement means in which houses are not close to each other and scattered settlements come up in agriculture or mountain areas next let's see the patterns of settlements first one is circular settlement circular settlement means those houses which are built around ponds or reservoirs are known as circular settlements so this is a circular settlement next is linear settlement linear settlement means houses which are constructed along a railway track or along a road are known as linear settlements in this image we see linear settlement next is radial settlement this means houses which emerge and radiate from a central point and then they form a star shaped pattern these type of settlements are known as radial settlements in this image we see the star shaped pattern next is urban or rural settlement rural settlements means people settled in villages and these rural settlements are found where people are engaged in primary activities such as farming lumbering and fishing so this is a rural settlement this image represents rural settlement next is urban settlement so as population grew in river valleys and around world urban settlements started developing urban settlements mean people settling in towns or cities so cities definitely so towns where surface or underground mine is the important function they are known as mining or quarrying towns and towns where processing or manufacturing is the major activity they are known as industrial towns and towns where extensive marketing of finished product takes place services capital takes place those are known as commercial towns and administrative towns are those which from which the governments or states or nations function and defense town means which function as a base for the armed forces garrison towns means those towns which have barracks training academies and airfields and cultural and educational towns are also known for good education providing good religion culture etc so this is an image of a city next let's study about the human transport so means of transport are of big importance because they provide connectivity for the growth of trade and for development of a country and development of a world as a whole so let's see different ways of transport so roadways are best means of transport because of the following reasons because they provide door to door service they are the main means of transport in remote villages roads are classified into five types national highways border roads state highways district roads and which connect the various towns in a state and village roads so this is an image of a roadway next is railways so railways are fast safe and cheap and comfortable mode of transport mode of transport for people and also goods so some railways run across the continents and link the two ends these type of railways are known as cross continental railways they are of great economic and political next is waterways this can be classified into two types inland waterways and marine waterways so inland waterways here rivers and lakes are navigable and they are used as waterways and the boats and streamers they are used as a mode of transport in this inland waterway this is a boat in a inland waterway 
Next is marine waterway. So this happens through sea route and ocean routes. And goods and people, they are movable from one country to another via marine. Next is airway. So air transport is the most expensive means of transport. So passengers prefer it for long distance travel. When the destinations are very far away, like they are traveling from continent to continent. This is a flight showing you the airway. Next is communication. Communication means effective exchange of ideas as well as the information. So without communication, we cannot gain any knowledge or we cannot apply any knowledge. So what are the various means of communication? They are post, telegraph, telephone, wireless systems like internet. So in this image, you see various modes.